Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 tips and tricks that will help you free up storage on your iPhone on iOS 13. Now, of course, having free memory on your device is always very welcomed and there are quite a lot of things that you can do in order to get more free space on your device. So here are 15 things that you can do, 15 tips and tricks that will help you get more storage on your iPhone. Now, one of the first things that I suggest you should do is go on the podcast app. Now, if you listen to podcasts, make sure you go to the podcast app and go to library and right here you will find downloaded episodes. If you go right here, you will see a list of all the episodes that you have locally downloaded on your phone and that take up a lot of space. So you can see right here, I have a few there. And if I go to the iPhone storage, you can see that that does take quite a lot of space on my device so here i have like four or five episodes downloaded and if i go to the storage you can see that that takes quite a lot of space so 618 megabytes for five episodes so what you want to do is of course go ahead and remove them from your iphone so just go ahead right here from the downloaded section just tap on the one of them just swipe them and tap remove and you're good to go if you take HDR photos with your iPhone, make sure you disable keep normal photo. Now what this does is that for every HDR picture that you take, it will also save like a normal mode photo. So that of course takes a ton of space on your device. So it will have basically duplicate photos. So what you want to do is go ahead, go to settings, go to the camera settings and right here we'll find auto HDR and just go ahead and disable right here, keep normal photo. Another setting that is very, very important under the camera app is the video recording settings. Now, if you go to record video, you will find here different resolutions in which you can record. Now, of course, the iPhone until now or up to the newest iPhones will not play 4K videos. Of course, they will play them, but the resolution is not 4K. That way, the best resolution that you will be able to see on your iPhone is 1080p. So if you record videos and just watch them on your iPhone you don't put them like on your computer or anywhere where you can watch them on 4k so you just have to keep them on your iPhone then make sure you don't shoot on 4k because that takes a ton of space so basically the video files will be crazy large so make sure you choose 1080p if you just keep your videos on your iPhone and watch them here all the time and another setting that you should change on the camera is found under the format. So if you go right here, choose high efficiency photos. What this does is that it will, of course, reduce the size of the pictures that you take. That way you will be able to basically save a ton of space and, of course, be able to, sh to shoot more photos with your iPhone. Under the settings of iMessage, make sure you go ahead and go to keep messages and from here choose like 30 days or maybe even one year but 30 days would be better now what this does is that it will automatically delete messages that are older than 30 days now of course messages just text doesn't take that much space but if you have like pictures or videos basically attachments that someone will send you through iMessage then that will take a ton of space on your device now if you don't want to go ahead and just completely delete your messages you can just delete the attachments so what you need to do is just go to one of your conversations tap on the contact right there and tap on info and right down below right here it will show you all the attachments that that contact has sent you can go ahead and force touch on any of them and delete them directly from here so as easy as that you can keep the text but you can delete the attachments which will of course take a ton of space that way you can free up more storage on your iphone another thing that will take a ton of space of course is music so if you keep a lot of songs downloaded on your device that of course takes a ton of space now if you use a streaming service then of course you don't need to have songs downloaded on your device just in case you want to play them offline then okay but otherwise go ahead and delete them now you can go to settings go to the music settings and right here it shows you downloaded music and it will also show, also show right here the size 
of that music so you can go ahead go here and you can edit them so basically it allows you to down to remove any downloaded song from your device directly from here we'll also have the option to remove all of them at the same time right here at the top with the new ios 13 now of course we have the ability to download stuff through safari now you can go to general and go to iphone storage and now there's a new section this section is called on my iphone so if you go right here you will find all the data basically the stuff that you have downloaded through safari and from here you can go ahead and delete any of them so if you have like a ton of downloads to download something you need then you just leave it there then of course you can go ahead and manage them directly from here you will have all of them on the same basically on the same spot right here and of course you can go ahead and just delete any of the files that you don't need anymore and then of course save a ton of space on your device something that really takes a ton of space on devices our videos now if you go to settings go to general and go to the iphone storage section if you tap on show all right here it will show you this section that says review personal videos and also it says save up to two gigabytes in my case here it shows you how much you can save by deleting like larger videos so if you go right here review personal videos it will show you a few of your videos that are taking the most space on your device now from here you will be able to edit them so just tap on the edit button and you can go ahead and select any of these larger videos and you can delete them directly from here and of course save a ton of space on your device so right here we'll see all the videos they will be listed from the one that it's taking the most space on your device down to the one that is taking less space on your device so as easy as that you can just remove any videos that you don't need and of course save a ton of storage something really really simple that you can do but of course is very effective is clearing out the recently deleted album so of course we delete like pictures or videos from our camera roll but they are saved for 30 days on this folder called recently deleted which of course can be found on the photos app now what you want to do here is just go ahead tap on select and tap on delete all that way it will just simply remove them from the device you don't have to wait 30 days from them to for them to be removed automatically you can do that just by tapping here on delete all it is also very very important that you clear the history the website data of your browser so go to settings go to safari and from here you can go ahead and clear all the data so what you want to do is just scroll down here and you will find this tab right here clear history and website data so of course you're browsing the web and all the time there, there will be websites that will store data and all that on your device and of course taking a ton of space on your device you just go ahead tap on cleared history and data and you're good to go if you go to your settings and go to general you will find here iphone storage now if you go here you will see a list of the apps that are taking the most space on your device and from here of course you will be able to delete any of them so just take a look at any app that is taking like more space on your device and you can if it's not really really important like i have a few ones here that i basically don't even use at all you can go ahead and delete them from your device or maybe you can even find an alternative app on the app store that will take less space on your device and a very cool feature on ios 13 and i believe this is on ios 12 as well is called upload unused apps so you will have to use this this is very very cool very useful to have so what you got to do is just go to settings go to itunes and app stores and make sure you enable upload unused apps what this does is that all the apps that you don't use it will delete them from your device while keeping their data so anytime you need the app you can go ahead and go back to the app store install the app and you will still have all the data right there so it will just basically temporarily remove the app so it doesn't take space on your device and then once you need it it will be back with all this data and of course you always want to keep your device updated to the latest software now updating your device will of course always give you more storage now you can see every time with new updates there's a bit more storage available on your device that way of course you will get more space to have your own stuff not just leave their space for ios just to have more like gigabytes used on your device so just go ahead update every time to the latest software in order to get a bit more storage on your iphone 
Another thing, of course, that you can do to get more free space on your device is use cloud services. Like you can use Google Drive, which will give you 15 free gigs. Also like Dropbox, two free gigs. So you can basically like upload your videos or your photos right there. And of course, free up space on your device for other stuff. That's of course a free option with Google Drive, 15 gigs. That's really amazing all for free so that's basically it for this video guys these are 15 tips and tricks that will help you free up storage on your device as easy as that you can get more free space and of course have the ability to get more stuff on your device hopefully these help i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next one